Good morning, this is your nerdy best friend and I'm going to show you a little bit about this new fantastic tool that I found yesterday that I have made use of several times already. So again, I found it yesterday. Here's what it is, it's called uh, Voicera and Eva is its a little helper. Why they keep naming these things after women, I don't know, but anyway, it's called Eva, the little feature. So here is what I did yesterday. I did. I tried uh, playing around with it myself at um, 5, 10 a.m. And then I did an interview with my husband and then I had uh, two other meetings during the day. But let me show you the interview with my husband. So the way we did this was I dialed in and you'll see the explanation in the post a little bit more about that. But I dialed in and let Eva listen in on our conversation while we talked. So this is the recording at its basic level. It's a recording, With right? Questions about a student. And so this is the recording of me so and DJ tell me talking. A little bit about I did your an interview first. with him about what he does, which is student loan work. So anyway, what Eva does is it records everything and then it uses artificial intelligence and voice recognition to go back through and find key things to help you keep track of your meetings, to help you keep track of your information. So I while I was recording, I gave it a try and you can say stuff like, okay, Eva, and it'll go ahead and record a little part and you can say, thanks, Eva, and it'll supposedly stop it. I didn't really have a lot of luck with that, but here's where I did find luck. After you finish it, you can search. So uh, we were talking about um, student loans. My husband is a student loan lawyer. So let's see if I search for the use of the word student, it will look through all of our transcripts and uh, we talked for, I don't know, 15, 10 minutes or something like that. And every time it found that it recognized the word, it came up. So watch. I've uh, studied the area of student loan law, the Higher Education Act, and um, I have... There it is. I've, uh, all right, stop. Um, so I can immediately find every time we talked about student. Now, the x-ray will go through and listen for words that may be needed for you to help with your meeting, right? So when we were introducing ourselves or something and then commitments, can you, I have it. So if you're asking for people to do commitments, it, remember all of this is passive. It's just listening for these things behind the scenes. Um, this is a priority or whatever. So if things, if someone says it's a priority for us to get this done, it will help you find tools with those words, uh, points of contention. We need to have a discussion about this. This is a problem. Again, this is listening to your meetings and trying to come up with the words. Um, and it's asking, you know, what questions do we need to ask? If you're a salesperson and this is in a sales meeting or you're meeting with a client, here it automatically comes up with these by default these areas that may be related to sales and action items. Now, you can also customize the x-ray. So if you've got things that you want it to focus on, you see all these areas that it does, You, if you've got things you want it to focus on, you can put your own keywords in there. So it can be uh, more customized to you. So anyway, you can do that. And then here's what I love playing with. It is the word cloud. It analyzed the whole thing, right? And then it put together a word cloud of all the different conversations we have. Student loans, right? That's what we were talking about. College. But any of these things I can click on, like if you wanted to know things about a mortgage, right? You could click on that and then- can't qualify for a, a mortgage loan um, because of the fact that- And it found immediately where the information about the conversation we were having about a mortgage was. So very quickly, it analyzes what the conversation was. I could go back and take notes and find information. You could have uploaded an agenda. This was kind of confusing to me. I couldn't add an agenda afterwards. There were other ways you could do it. I never really figured it out. But according to this, if you've added an agenda, which you can do when it confirms it and comes to your email box or something, um, if you add an agenda right here, it will help correspond and look for those things in the highlights that it does. You can share this, you can uh, extract it. it. It just, it's very helpful. And right now it's free. Now they said they were gonna start charging for it after a while, it's in beta test right now. And 
they said it's only going to be $10 per user per month. Holy smokes, to have a full-time note taker basically at all your meetings for $10 a month. If you're a small business person, you're just kind of kind of trying to keep track. Uh thumbs up for me. So, thanks for listening and until I see you again, nerd on guys.